Okay, so <clears throat> I get a lot of comments sometimes, um, not necessarily on like the platforms, people are pretty good. I think I scare enough people off. They usually don't say anything rude on the platforms, but um, um, in my everyday life, I get a lot of uh, comments like, um, it's not even bad. It's almost like they compliment me, but then they're putting themselves down at the same time. Like uh, they're not good enough or something like that. I would like all of you to know that follows me or watches me or anything like that. Um, there is no reason for you to undermine yourself. There's no reason for you to put yourself down. There really isn't, unless you're hurting people. There is no reason for you to think that you're less um, there's a guy I was just talking to recently. He's like, you know, I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to be like doing what you're doing and stuff, you know, show people what I can do. And I was like, good. And he's like, but I'm not as good as you. So like, I don't know if it's, I'm like, wait a minute. What? Not as good as you. I was like, it's been two years and yeah, I struggled. I had to figure out how to use the platform. I'm not tech savvy. It's trial and error. I bust my ass and work very hard um, for what it is that I do. And I come off a certain way because I'm a perfectionist. But the reason I'm a perfectionist is because this comes from my own traumas and shit of not feeling worthy or good enough or things not being done right. They must be done right. You know, that sort of old programming it has nothing to do with me being perfect because that's it's all in the eye of the beholder it's really not perfect's not it's like a I almost look at it as like a concept it's just a concept our brains created because think about it what's what's actually perfect and um, what do you consider perfect so if somebody tells you something is perfect that's their opinion but then another person can look at it and think it's not perfect. It's like, no. And then if you're comparing yourself to other people, you're forgetting about yourself. At what point do you stop and take a look at everything that you've accomplished and how far you've come? At what point do you say thank you to yourself? Thank you for getting my ass here. The, the light and dark side of me, thank you. At what point do you say, you know what, I've done really well because I'm still here. I still get up in the morning. I still do what I need to do. I'm still here. Why would you compare yourself to another person when you have so much to offer to? If you've been stifled to the point where you feel like you're a drone, then break out of it. If you feel like you've been put under thumb, if you feel like you've been smashed and taken for granted and change do something for yourself take up a hobby fuck quit your old job I don't know but the moment you just sit there and start comparing yourselves to other people or putting other people down or making them feel a certain way because you're not happy with what you're doing you guys don't see behind the scenes you don't see the struggle that I've gone through, the things that I've uh, mentally tormented myself with, let alone physically, you don't see the things that I've gone through behind the scenes. And this is just a YouTube channel, you know? Um, <laughs> It's not like I'm some big ass celebrity. And sure, if I wanted to write a novel, my whole life story would be very freaking interesting to a lot of people that haven't experienced that much. And that's great and everything. But when I get comments from people, it's that it's supposed to be a compliment, but it's putting themselves down. It makes me feel really bad. Like I have to make myself smaller, but I've gotten past that point. I don't want to do that anymore. Um, I,
me make videos that are random, uh, singing, dancing, making, you know, when I do my exercise and stuff like that, a lot of people will look at it one way, like I'm just trying to get attention, but that's the whole point of making a video is for people to see it. So technically that's trying to get attention. That's the whole fucking point. But on the other hand, it's me trying to let people know that it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you think of yourself. It doesn't matter. You could still be your, your authentic self. You could still learn new shit. You could still come a long way. I am trying to convince people to see the, the fucking light within themselves and how powerful you are and how strong you are. The comments, man. Even my, my old friends back in the day. I know my one friend, I was wearing sunglasses. I just put them on and I felt good. She's like, oh, I should get a pair of sunglasses so I could be cool like Amanda. Okay, first of all, who talks like that? Second of all, it's like, you're not giving yourself credit. Why are you comparing yourself to me? Why would you say it in that manner? Like, I don't know. Please stop beating yourself up. I did it for years. I broke out of that. I still struggle with the old programming too. But you don't need to do that. You don't. You're extremely valuable. Don't give a fuck what anybody says. You do matter. If it's not to anybody else, it's to me at least. Thank you for watching. If you feel like there's something you want to do, or you have a greater purpose, then look into it. Don't give yourself bullshit excuses anymore. Fear is just a concept as well. Really, there's nothing to be fearful of. Fuck, I'm a, I was afraid of, of excelling, doing well, but that's from old programming too, because I had it ingrained in my brain that I didn't deserve it. I fucking deserve everything I've worked for. I am fucking amazing. I believe so in myself. I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks. I know I am a good person. I know I do good even when the cameras are not rolling. I know that I have good intention. I know who the fuck I am. And even if other people develop and form their own opinions about me, especially those with own, their own in, it, like insecurities and shit, usually the ones that are judging harsh, even those people I know see the good in me. So what matters is my opinion about myself. That took me a long time to finally love myself and now that I do it doesn't matter what the next person says it doesn't matter if they don't like my shit they still keep watching anyway it doesn't matter if they feel a certain way about me or what they think I should be or who they think I should be I know who the fuck I am I know where I come from way back I know what I'm capable of I know what my intentions are I know what I want, and I know what the fuck I don't want. <laughs> I've asked myself certain questions, and I've done certain healing that I needed to, so that I feel confident enough to stand up for myself and love myself, even if nobody else on the fucking planet gives a fuck about me, I give a fuck about me. Even if nobody else around me is brave enough to even acknowledge my existence or what I have to bring to the table. I acknowledge my existence. I acknowledge what the fuck I have to bring to the table and I'm very valuable. I care about myself very much, even if nobody else does. 
I strongly urge you to try your best to do the same for yourself because you can't depend on other people, unfortunately. If you have people around you that you do care about that, you know, show you that same love and affection, do not take them for granted. People that are not codependent on your energy, but people that genuinely love you for you and that have their own inner light too, that uplift you. Do your best not to take them for granted. 